Hello everyone, Ben here and welcome back to the channel for some more race room. Now, I tried this combination of the GT4s of Brands Hatch Indy on stream just the other night. I had so much fun with it, I thought I would come back and try it again for a race video. Uh, before we get going, if you find yourself enjoying the video, please do leave a like, get subscribed to the channel, and if you really want to support the channel, check out our channel membership option in the description to the video. But without okay, further ado, we're going to get underway here. Five red lights going on. We're starting in third. We had a good qualifying. So hopefully we'll avoid too much chaos at the start as we get a brilliant launch right. off the line. And look at that. We might even get up into the lead here. We're three wide. We've got cars either side of us. We think better of trying to hold that in the middle of three. I might have been a little bit bolder if we were either on the inside or the outside. But I didn't want to get sandwiched between the two cars. So we settle for third place, we get through the hairpin and we are managing now to keep pace with the leading two and we've got Brook Leg behind us uh, in the green and yellow Lotus and I race with Brook pretty regularly uh, on our weekly streams uh, so I, I'm pretty confident that he's not going to try anything too uh, silly behind us to try and get past and that reassures me a little bit uh, given that this is after all a rookie server it's a very tight and twisty track and these GT4 cars are pretty powerful uh, for this sort of circuit so you never quite know what to expect but we've had a very solid first lap we've held position we're in touch with the leading two cars uh, and we've got a reasonable gap back to fourth place so I'm just now going to try and focus on getting onto the rear wing of Troitus uh, up ahead and seeing if we can't pressure him for second place it will not be easy he has a rating of 2.1k uh, which means he's one of the fastest drivers in race room uh, so we're doing pretty well just to run as close as we are uh, to him at the moment we come then into the final corner once again so important here to get the speed scrubbed off the car and get the car rotated in order to get down onto the accelerator early coming onto the start finish straight we managed to do that quite well uh, throughout this race uh, as we come then into uh, the first corner once again similarly very very important to get the speed off get the apex and then onto the power down the hill uh, and into the hairpin you can see we visibly closed up on Troitus through that section of the lap and in actual fact as we come down into Graham Hill Bend they were just going to get a little bit too close to him uh, and I have to get off uh, the accelerator uh, and that compromises our exit from the corner and if you see in our rear view mirror now that's given leg right just a bit of impetus behind us we then drift it in slightly too wide into the final corner nothing too disastrous but it just means I have to be a little bit hesitant on the gas coming down the start finish straight and leg now is within quarter of a second behind us uh, if it was any other driver I'd fear a bit of a dive bomb into T1 but I know he's not going to do that I run a bit defensive anyway just to ward him off he gets a much better run through the corner than us though which means he's going to pull to our inside now he's almost certainly got the line down I'm not going to squeeze him out I'm going to give him a car's width we're going to go side by side through the hairpin but he has got the high ground as we come out of the corner I'm going to try and hang it through the next left-hander but I can't do it in actual fact I end up committing a small corner cut and we have to give the position up so unfortunately just because of about a lap and a half ago I ran just a little bit too close to the car in front that cost me all the way around uh, the next lap and in the end we've lost the position uh, as a result of that uh, and that just goes to show you the dynamics of running on a track which is a very short lap Let's take a look back at the start then. Having dropped down to fourth at the very beginning, we were nearly up into first. There we are in the middle of the two other leading cars. We get on the brakes earlier though, didn't fancy getting sandwiched in between them. Uh, and then we get a nice clean run through the hairpin for the first time as the guys up ahead are running side by side. Uh, and then we're safely then into the middle of the lap. We take another look back at the start from some different camera views and you'll see that quite surprisingly everybody gets through T1 in one piece despite being a very crowded field 
of GT4s here in the race room rookies. Not so fortunate through the hairpin. This is where car to car contact starts. There's a few cars spearing off to the right hand side there. Unfortunately, a couple of cars get collected in some of that. Another nudge around there, the orange car spearing across the track. He picks up another car as well in his wake. Thankfully, we are well clear of all of that action running in third place. And then finally, as we get around to the end of the lap, as we safely navigate the final corner, another car just spearing off to the left hand side there. And again, collecting somebody else in that accident. Finally then, let's look at the overtake, that leg pulled on us. Here's where we just get a little bit too close and then hesitant on the accelerator as a result uh, of not really timing that approach to Troitus well. Uh, and that's gonna give leg the impetus, which in about a lapse time, uh, he is going to take advantage of. We come then on to uh, the next lap. Here he goes down our inside. He's going to get the position reasonably straightforward from here because I've left him the room on the inside. He squeezes us out on the exit, but nothing unfair about that. He's just making sure he's got the position and we cannot challenge back into the next corner. We resume then just a couple of laps later. There's about 10 minutes left in this race. We've managed to stick very close to leg. The leading car has retired from the race and I'm not really sure why he just disappeared uh, from the race. So we are now back up into the podium positions. Troitus is in first, leg in second. And we're coming up against some back markers here. So leg makes a bold move to the left hand side. I've decided I'm gonna follow him through because I can't afford to get stuck behind uh, the car there who is running at the back of the pack. And thankfully, he sees us coming, he gives us plenty of space, and so we're able to stick within so half a yellow. second of leg up ahead. It looks like he might have ran slightly hot into the final corner there, so we're gonna have a little bit of a look uh, at his uh, rear wing going into T1 uh, for the next lap. We're not gonna be close enough to th even think about a move uh, into that corner, but I am thinking about the next set of turns. If uh, we can just hang it around this first corner, he's run slightly wide and look at that, he's actually speared off the track. I'm not quite sure what happened there. He got out of shape uh, when he was almost through the corner, to be fair, he was right up on the curb and it just looked like the rear end uh, came around on him and unfortunately for Brookleg, he is now dropping down the order. It looked like he had a full spin and that has given us second place back. Let's take a look at just briefly at what happened there because it's a real shame for him. And yeah, you can see there, he just makes contact with a particular part of the curb. Maybe it's clearer if we run on board with him and it unsettles the car dramatically and he can't save it. He's a passenger essentially at that point. He manages to get on the brakes and unfortunately he has to rejoin from facing the wrong way around. We rejoin again then with just six minutes of this race left to go. It has been pretty frantic. We are coming up against more and more back markers here. Troitus is having to navigate them first uh, because he's the lead car. We're maintaining the two second gap to him and then we've got a second and a half back to MC behind us. Um, so we are looking good for a solid podium position but I haven't lost hope yet of challenging Troitus for the lead given we've got five plus minutes of this race left and it looks like we're going to be spending it navigating back markers on a very tight circuit. Uh, thankfully there, uh, Wit let us through nicely on the last corner of the lap so we didn't lose too much time there. Uh, but even if I look up ahead now, you can see that Troitus is coming up onto Atwell uh, in um, the Lotus, uh, sorry, in the BMW. Uh, and so he's gonna have to try and get past him as quickly as he can as well. And there he goes, down the inside, into the hairpin. Very nice and decisive from Troitus. So he will be able now um, to uh, have a bit of clear track up ahead of him. And we have to make that same move as quickly as we can. As we work on closing up to the back of that, well, I've got to say, this is my first uh, couple of races, actually, in the Audi GT4. Relatively new car to race room. I think it came out as part of the Christmas update uh, in 2020. Um, I had never really driven it. Um, I'd always gone to the Porsche for my GT4s, uh, but I really like it, and I actually think it's gonna become my GT4 of choice. Uh, it's nice and nimble. Uh, you can get the nose pointed in 
unlike some of the other GT4 cars, which I find understeer really badly, uh, and it's not too bad on traction either. Um, so I feel like I can be really racy and aggressive with it, but not fear for my life uh, in every corner. So I can well recommend uh, giving it a go if you haven't yet. As I've been describing that then, over the last lap, we've closed in uh, on Atwell quite nicely. The gap up Detroitus is still around two seconds, so we're not losing any ground there, and he's about to come up against another back marker. It looks like it won't be long uh, before we're making the pass on Atwell. He might get out of our way down the start finish straight here, but in fairness to him, he's in his own race, and he's his uh, opponent is just up the road as well, so I doubt he's gonna wanna lose too much time here. Uh, so it might very well be down into the hairpin that we have our best chance where early on the brakes but we'll get a better exit than him through T1 we're going to be closing in nicely I'm going to show to the inside and hope that he takes the message gets off the gas a bit early and he does that's really great uh, I'm very appreciative of that it means we both lose the minimal amount of time up ahead though look at that Troitus is having to try and get past uh, this other Lotus in the green and yellow livery and he's really struggling to do it it looks like he's essentially racing him uh, for position it's Flakstat in the green lotus uh, and that will have cost him huge amounts of time you can tell as we're up to uh, a second behind him now we've gained a second through that um, phase we are now having to get past the green lotus on our right hand side and I'm at this stage thinking oh my goodness I don't really want to race this guy uh, I just want him uh, to let us by in a sensible manner where we both lose as little time as possible but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is going to be possible here he's really uh, taking the racing line breaking late into corners uh, although we nearly ran into the back of him there uh, as just up ahead Troitus gets past the next car uh, on track which looks to be Hollett but Falx Flaxstadt has made a mistake he's got the car sideways so we're going to have a run down then into the left hander we're going to need to make this stick he's running side by side with us he's not conceding Seeding the position even though uh, he is now a lap down um, which is pretty disappointing if I'm absolutely honest you don't need that uh, I know uh, it's really on me to make the move past him uh, but it makes no sense for us to be racing one another uh, in these circumstances uh, so we have another Audi just up ahead of us then in the same livery as we're running but look at that he's out of shape and it, we just miss getting collected in that spin I've now got Flagstaff looking to try and get back past us so I have to take a defensive line into the hairpin which we're able to do and then just close him off there but my days we were very close uh, to essentially all of our good work coming undone and being collected in the unfortunate accident uh, of Hollett there as he just got it wrong coming into T1. Here's a replay of that incident. Look at how close we are. Thankfully, we took a pretty cautious line as I, I could see he was out of shape on corner entry there. Uh, so I wasn't running at my full pace through the corner and that just gave us enough time, enough space um, to get through unscathed. Here's a final view of it. Look at how close we were to tagging his rear end there uh, and that would have been a disaster for us. Unfortunately, what then follows, as you'll see on screen now, is a bit of a server freeze, and race room is suffering from these a little bit at the moment. And unfortunately, that teleports us back behind uh, the lapped car of Flagstat uh, and MC in third position. So we've lost a spot there uh, in the final stages of this race through no fault of our own. Uh, it's just uh, a connection issue, and I think it's to do with the server because I've seen it happen to other drivers quite a bit recently. So we've got it all to do coming into this final lap. As you can see, MC getting all out of shape because he's now having to race Flagstad up ahead. Uh, so unfortunately, in order to get back past MC, I think we're going to have to also overtake the car that's a lap down uh, once again in Flagstad. And he's not uh, seemingly the kind of driver who's going to give that up easily. So this could get very messy into the last lap it means Troitus is now six seconds up ahead of us uh, so he is now going to win this race unless something very dramatic happens uh, to him as he's passing more back markers we come through the left hander then we're closing right in on the two cars uh, up ahead MC wants to have a move down the inside of Flagstaff but he's not going to make it easy in fact he closes him off and this is partially playing into our hands but it's also meaning it's very difficult for us to do anything really sitting behind these two because the car the track is just so congested we get a better exit onto the start finish straight for the final time but there's really nowhere for us to go and we're going to come over the start finish line for the final time in third position 
and that's a bit of a disappointment if I'm honest. Um, it was good racing for the most part. Um, unfortunately I don't have the full classified results for you because uh, I ran out of space on my hard drive, would you believe it, as we came just to the end of that race. So this is replay footage from that last lap of trying to close in uh, and retake second position. But we did come home third for a reasonable finish uh, and it was very very enjoyable so if you are feeling nervous about this combination because it's a rookie server you don't want to lose ranking and reputation points i actually encourage you to give it a go give it a go in the audi because it's a great car very very enjoyable i hope you've enjoyed the uh, the video if you have leave a like get subscribed and i will see you next time